Okay, here is problem 3.51 from Sadikubo. And we are asked to find phi0. Here, yeah, phi0, phi0 is this node from the ground using mass analysis. Okay, let's start by drawing the loops in the circuits. So the obvious loops is this current source here. We have this loop here. And the current that's flowing here is obviously 5 ampere because this is current source. And now let's draw the unknown loops. This is loop 1 and this is loop 2. And we will start from loop 1 by applying KVL. KVL says the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to 0. And we will start from this voltage source. So it's flowing from negative to positive. So the sign will be negative. And the value will be 40. And this one, the 1 ohm resistance, the only current that passed through it is I1. So 1 times I1 is I1. And then here we have this 2 ohm resistance, 2. And because we are working on loop 1, we multiply it by I1. But here, this 5 ampere current is flowing to the opposite direction. So we subtract it. And the last one, this 4 ohm resistance, we will have 4 multiplied by I1. And here, I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we subtract it. And that will equal to zero. Okay, let's do some algebraic multi manipulation. Minus 40 plus I1 plus 2. I1 minus 10 plus 4 I1 minus 4 I2 is equal to zero. Here, minus 40 and minus 10 become minus 50. So we can move to the right hand side and we will get 50. And here, this I2, I will have minus 4 I2. And for I1, I will have 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4, 7 I1. Okay, we will have 7i1 minus 4i2 is equal to 50. So let's have this as equation number 1. And we move on to the second loop. Here, the second loop. Loop number 2. Again, we are using KVL. And here we start from this 4 ohm resistor. So we will have 4 multiplied by I2, but here I1 is going to the opposite direction. So I subtract it, and here I will have 8, and the only current that passes through it is I2, and here we will have this 24 voltage source, and it's flowing from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative, negative 20. And we will have this equal to zero. And now here we can do again algebra for I2 minus 4 I1 plus 8 I2. And I will move this 20 to the right hand side. So we'll have 20 there. And here we will have minus 4 I1 plus 8i2 is equal is it 8? no 4 plus 8 is 12 yeah 12i2 12 and that will equal to 20 let's have this as equation number 2 so now we have this two equations 
we can solve this for i2 and i1 so here let's see what can we do here can multiply this equation 1 by 3 and I will leave the equation 2 alone so here we will have 21 I1 minus 12 I2 is equal to 150 and here we have minus 4 i1 plus 12 i2 and that will equal to 20 and here we can sum this here we have 21 plus minus 4 it's 17 17 I1 is equal to 170 so that will make I1 is 10 ampere okay now we have I1 is 10 ampere so how about I2 I2 we can do it by substitution to one of this equation equation number one or equation number two and I will do substitution to equation number one so let's erase the upper side of our answer okay we will have this seven times i1 is 10 minus 4 i2 is equal to 50 okay now we can move this to the right hand side and this 50 to the left hand side and 7 times 10 is 70 minus 50 that will equal to 4 i2 or 20 is equal to 4 i2 and we can conclude that I2 is 5 ampere. Now we have I1 and I2, but we are asked to have this V0. V0. How to find V0? I will use Ohm's law in this 4 ohm resistance. So in that 4 ohm resistance, V0 is the current that passes through this resistance times R. Okay, we will have I1 is 10 ampere and I2 is 5 ampere. So the resultant of this current will be to the ground, from V0 to the ground. And the value is I1 minus I2 times the resistance 4. I1 is 10. I2 is 5. So I will have 5 times 4. It's 24. So we will have V0 is 24. So hopefully I did not make any mistake. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.